my fellow comic book collectors. Today is Friday and on Fridays I do my cover challenge where I basically ask, you know, for you to go through your long boxes, go through your short boxes, go through all your boxes and look for cool covers that fit a theme. So uh, this week's theme and probably for the month actually, I'm going to be doing color themes. So um, what I mean by that is the color theme will be, for example, this week will be black covers. So covers that are notoriously bad <laughs> to get graded because they show every spine tick. They're they're pretty annoying in that respect. That <laughs> uh, they, they can be pretty hard to get graded as a high grade because they show every flaw. But there are some really great black covers. So I want to show uh, some, you know, my some of my favorites uh, in my collection. So we're going to start out with um, this one. This is uh, Batman uh three jokers and there was a whole bunch of different covers for this one but i actually like this one a lot <laughs> i just thought it was really great it's really you know it's it's a really great black cover too uh again this would probably be hard to get graded as a uh nine eight but uh it's um this is a really great cover i think it's a great you know black girl cover so that's the first one and this one just, I think this came out, I'm not sure, just recently, maybe last year. This is Star Wars High Republic The Blade. And I just think it's kind of a cool black cover, actually. Just, uh, I like, I always like Star Wars covers that have lightsabers. <laughs> I do, I'm sort of a geek that way. I really like lightsabers. So I just thought this was kind of cool. It's a really, yeah, I'm not sure how well it shows because it is very black. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is, um, Star Wars High Republic, The Blade, number one. And now I'll get into some slabs because, uh, that's where you can see how they actually grade out. So this is Werewolf by Night, number 33. This is actually the second appearance of, uh, uh Moon Knight, but, uh, just a, this is a really great black cover. Um, and... Moon Knight's a great character for black covers, actually. <laughs> There's a lot of really great Moon Knight covers, so I expect when people kind of do the reply to this uh, video, you might show some uh, Moon Knight covers because uh, he, the white of his costume really does contrast well against the black. So uh, this is Werewolf by Night, number 33. No 9-8s <laughs> in any of this. So uh, don't expect any 9-8s. Closest I have is a 9.6. Uh, so this is Action Comics uh, 8.35. I always forget the number. This is uh, the first appearance of Livewire in continuity. And it's just a really great black cover. One of the things that also works really well um, on black covers is this kind of blue. And I think this one really works. I really like this cover, actually. Uh, so this is uh, Action Comics number... 835. First appearance of Livewire in continuity. And then we got, this one's kind of a fun one. <laughs> I like these kind of quirky characters. This is Captain Carrot's uh, uh, Flaming Carrot Comics, I should say. Um, and it's uh, number one. And it's just a really great, has this black border that makes it quite hard to get in high grade. And even the back is all black. So if you look at the back, it's it's all black right there. So quite hard to get this one in high grade. So this is Captain. I keep on wanting to say Captain Carrot, but that's another carrot. <laughs> that's another comic altogether. This is Flaming Carrot, um, and this is um, actually I'll. It's Bob Bergen, story and art. It's kind of cool. Now we're getting to some golden age and this is one of my favorite like skeleton hand covers i guess uh this is punch comics number 13 and this one i just i love for multiple reasons it is a really great uh black cover though because you got this uh almost like there's a light coming from the grave maybe like as if she's being dropped into hell or something like that uh, it's just a really great, almost, it, it's it's not, it's a pre-code horror kind of cover. 
and it's just a really great one. Um, on the tombstone, you have the, the people that were involved with the creation of this comic. Their names are on the tombstone. So that's a, it, just another added beautiful touch to it. Just I really love this cover. So uh, that's Punch Comics number 13. Another really great cover is this one. Uh, Terrifying Tales number... Uh, 13. <laughs> Another 13. Uh, so this one's really great it, 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 because it's got these, it's just got so much going on. It's got these characters that are in, they're actually, you can almost see them as silhouettes that they are, uh, because they're in black. Um, they're like sort of these voodoo people. And then you have the woman in bondage. And then you have this Satan like guy here. And then you got all these flames and just so much details. This is a nice LB Cole cover. It's just a really great cover. Really hard to get this in high grade. I don't even think there is a 9.8 of this. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just a really great cover though. And it's probably one of one of his more famous ones. So Terrifying Tales number 13. And some more LB Cole, because I like LB Cole. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot of LB Cole in this one. Uh, this is uh, Terrors of the Jungle, and it's this is a high-grade one, but uh, it is restored, actually. Uh, just a really great, not as much black on it, but um, but it is a great one. The zebra, I figured, hey, and the, the title for a lot of these t uh, Terrors of the Jungle were done in this sort of black background. So just a really great one. Uh, I like my jungle girls, so <laughs> this is uh, Terrors of the Jungle number 10. Okay, my number two on my list, and this is one I usually show right here, but I, I took it away, <laughs> um, is a Power Comics. Now this is another LB Cole cover, so three LB Coles in a row. And um, this is Power Comics number three. It's just a, it's a really great cover. It's got, you know, these kind of floating heads and uh, it's just really cool. I like, I like the guy in the middle. I, I like, I always like magicians and he's got kind of that magician look. He's kind of doing, he's like casting a spell or something like that. So it's kind of cool. So this is Power Comics number three. And number one on my list is one of my favorite covers um, from this series too. Uh, this is Ghost Comics number two. And it's just a great Maurice Whitman cover. I, I really love it. It's a, sort of this lingerie kind of, uh, or, you know, cover. And um, she's got all these little phantoms around her that are just sort of figments of her um, nightmare. And then you got this guy in the, in the black uh, which is actually, con I'm not sure if you can see it, but he has like these little threads that are going down to these little uh, apparitions. And uh, he's basically manipulating her nightmares. So it's a really great black cover. And um, just a uh, really, I just really love this one. I think it's very sexy. This is a Reese Whitman cover. So that's it. Those are my, uh, my 10 black covers. And if you, if you want to participate in this, all you have to do is create a video where you show 10 comics uh, that meet, meet the theme um, and use the hashtags Friday Comic Challenge and Black Covers, hashtag Black Covers. And if you use that in the title, then other people can see your video and uh, you can check out other people's videos that are created. And there's a bunch of people that actually are pretty faithful to creating these videos each week. So I'm really, I'm really appreciative of them. And I'm gonna to link to one that did a really great video uh, for last week's theme, which was black male superheroes. So I'm gonna to link to his video. It was an amazing video, it's worth checking out. So click the link at the end of this video to his video. And it's uh, Joe from Black Box Silver and Bronze. So um, thanks again for watching, bye for now.